Welcome to the Nathan Honus Fitness Lifestyle Channel video. And on this video is more of an extended version of the five actions to maximize your results, but more importantly, to sustain your results. So I'll be going through each of these five points in a little bit more detail. So if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, hit that bell button, give it a like, and leave any comments relevant to this video and also any future content you'd like me to cover. Okay, let's go, let's start with number one. Okay, so action number one is learn to move a little bit more. Now, not just with your workout days, I'm all about how you can move more in your standard day. Now, for example, I've got a lot of people who work in the office. And for me these days, I sit down a lot with editing what I'm doing right now. So one of the key principles I do is I make sure I'll go out and move, maybe go for a walk, what I'm actually doing right now. Now yours may be a little bit different. You may not want to go for a walk and that's fine, but you need to put some sort of infrastructure in. There was someone just the other day said they've taken up swimming. Whatever you like to do is the most important bit. And if you can do something which is really fun to do, that's even better. Some people choose to go and join a sports club and do something they enjoy doing, maybe like badminton or something like that. Just do what works for you, okay? Obviously, in terms of gym workouts, you might choose to do that. But again, the main key principle here is, is to get that movement up. Now, I've actually got a Fitbit but you may want to invest in a tracker, at least initially, so you can see how many steps you're doing right now, and then you can obviously focus on how you can improve that. Maybe long-term, you may not choose to use this, but I'd at least start with that, so you can see how many steps you can get. They actually say that you should be doing 10,000 steps a day, but my message here is, just make sure you're doing more than what you're doing today. If you're not quite getting the results, what you'd like. Okay, let's go on to Number two. Okay, so number two is keep hydrated, drink more water. Some people find drinking plain water on its own is really hard. But what I'd say is, again, if you find yourself being really dehydrated most of the time, you may want to look into how you can increase that water. Now, I'm not gonna to go too much into this because I've actually got a whole video about how to stay hydrated. But things like having water on your desk, maybe having drinks what you like, which is really obviously hydrating. Caffeine you need to manage, of course, but things like peppermint tea, calamari tea, things like that. If you have a little bit of diluted juice, all fine factors to have, as long as it's gonna encourage you to drink a little bit more water. But check that video out, I'll leave the link right here, how to keep hydrated. Okay, now on to tip number three. Number three is get to bed early. So for me, I come up the stairs about half nine, I have a shower, I'm all settled, ready to go to bed. And there's lots of other things I do in terms of this one. I've really worked on my sleep. And I've also done a video of how to sleep better. So again, I'll leave a link right here so you can check that one out. Very simple. It's so important to get your sleep. Obviously, there's lots of evidence to show how much it really aids in your health and fitness. So yes, now on to number four. Now the next one, number four, is to track all your food. Now, a really good app I use is My Fitness Plan, as long as you track everything. Now, the big subject on this, and I'll probably do this on a separate post another time, but either if you do certain guesstimates, they're your guesstimates, and if you've done that over time, for example, if you went for a meal, there'll be certain ingredients you do on a regular basis, and therefore, it's consistent for you. So you're still gonna get that level of measure which would, would be ideal and it's still going to be consistent which ultimately is going to give you that amount of calories you have so strongly recommend track all your food what i see a lot with certain clients is i'll look on their week view for example on the fitness pal and then miss a couple of days and i ask the question why did you miss them days out but oh well I, I ended up going out for food and i went i went out for a few drinks they are the most important factors because that's where you can really manage what you consume in. But the most important part, it is the education that's going to give you tracking all your food. Because you start learning about how many calories things have in that actual item. It, obviously your macros in terms of protein, carbs and fat. So there's so much you're going to get from that. Countability is another factor as well. So if you haven't already done so, and you're looking to do that a little bit more, 
then please do so. Maybe leave a comment that you're just starting and I inspired you to do that. And that is number four. And finally, number five is make sure you plan each of your workouts. Now I've got my coaching platform right on my phone and I even set up workouts for me and I also set these for my clients. So if you're looking to obviously be coached and help out with your programs and your meal plan, may I add, I'll leave a link in here and we can have a chat. But I'm going to pop on the screen here. These are all the different split workouts I actually do for myself and I plan them every time. Now I don't mean you're going to have lots of different workouts every week, but what you do want to make sure you do, you have a structure. I tend to at the moment do a three day weight workout because it suits my lifestyle. And when it comes to planning your training, make sure you do something which you're going to be able to sustain future. There's no point having a workout every day of the week if you're not going to be able to sustain that. So yeah, just make sure you plan everything. And if you don't know how to do that, speak to someone who can help you. And if, if me is that person, again, we can have a chat. But that is the whole five. Now on to the last part of the video. Hope you took a lot out of them five actions in order to maximize your results, but more importantly, sustain your results. So yeah, let me know in the comments how you're gonna find these. Do you find these really useful? Are you already doing this? But of course, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button, give it a like, leave any comments whatsoever. And remember, there is content out on my channel every Wednesday. So be sure to check in next week. See you later.